Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we have our first official FIFA 22 video. Um, it is September 1st. We are going to be back on that grind for FIFA 22. Um, with a few videos coming out every other day or so up until the web app drops, which should be about September 22nd around that time. Um, so we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to prepare you guys heading into FIFA 22. Um, and I wanted to kind of start this off uh, talking about the market as a whole. Uh, and as you guys can tell by the title, this year the FIFA 22 market is going to be the most different market, the most craziest market we have ever seen. Um, some methods from last year that were very good will not work this year at all. And we're going to see a lot of new methods as well come in um, that are going to be really, really effective. So I wanted to go over all of it with you guys here today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new, make sure to subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. So as I said, the market this year is going to be the craziest one we've ever seen. It's going to be very different. Um, and that's due to the fact that we've gotten some pretty big changes coming into foot champs and division rivals. Many people are saying, you know, there's no major additions. However, uh, the changing of the foot champs as a whole, the way it's going to be played out is completely different to anything we've ever seen, uh, as well as, you know, the rewards and all that. So this is going to change the market quite a bit. Now, for those that don't know, um, and for those that do know, here's a quick refresher. Foot champs, basically, you're going to have to play within during the week to qualify um, through a little like knockout tournament or whatever it's going to be. You need to play some kind of qualifier where you win some games out of uh, another certain amount, and then you unlock qualification heading in to foot champs. Now, this is a really big change because it adds a lot of midweek demand into the middle of the week, which we did not really have much of last year. And we're going to take a look at Footbin in a little bit and look at the prices. But what we saw was a lot of people would play this game literally only on the weekends because during the middle of the week, all you could do is nothing um, because there was the division rivals game cap and stuff like that. Um, and those counted your foot champ games. So there wasn't really anything to do midweek. Uh, so that's obviously completely changed. There's no more cap and foot champs is only 20 games. Now um, you can get your rewards on the weekend as soon as you finish your foot champion games, which I think is crazy. And not to mention division rivals got a huge seasonal reward change meaning that you're going to want to play rivals midweek so you have a good reward come the end of the season of course we don't know what any rewards are uh the beta is obviously only a test and the images we got the rewards are not what they're going to be so it's going to be interesting to kind of see what happens but as you guys can see there's the foot champion playoffs um to where you can qualify uh and get better rewards and a spot in the final so it's going to be interesting there's a lot of midweek rewards coming out um you can get rewards from champions playoffs you can get rewards from division rivals and then of course the foot champ finals is what they're calling weekend league now you can get rewards from that as well um and uh, of course another thing i do want to quickly mention because we are looking at them right now foot heroes as well that is a huge huge trading method um or, or type of car that we can really trade with now um, like icons, these cars are going to trade very similar. Um, the fluctuations are going to be insane on these cards, especially because it's the first year they're in the game. Uh, they're brand new and all that. Um, I'm, I'm going to have a whole separate video on foot heroes closer to when FIFA 22 drops. Um, but these cards, again, are adding so much more into the market as far as fluctuations go. I cannot wait to trade with these. Now, as I said, we are going to head on to Footbin um, because I did want to talk about how these cards are going to fluctuate. Now, of course, we have the brand new, um, you know, all the new changes coming in. So realistically, and I didn't even mention we have squad battle rewards still as well. Um, we have a lot of different rewards coming out at different times. Sundays, you have foot champs rewards and squad battle rewards likely. Middle of the week, you have division rivals and then you have foot champion playoff rewards as well. So we're not going to see this really happen too, too much. Uh, I think we're going to see a very solid price and these gold cards only really going to be going down, um, you know, come the bigger cards coming in when more alternatives come in. Uh, so what I'm expecting to see is a lot of these cards, kind of these high tier cards going up a lot. Now, I want to take a look at some of the mid tier cards that, you know, were expensive on the first day. Uh, Emre Chan was one that I know... A decent amount of people will probably remember if I can even find his gold card here. Um, his gold card was one that was expensive when the first kind of 
day came out, the day dropped or whatever, if we can uh, get Footbin to load his card here, please, Footbin, come on. So I do want to take a quick look at the um, these mid-tier cards, I guess. Um, not that they're going to be really huge difference, but really realistically, a lot of these uh, mid-tier, low-tier metas uh, right at the start of the game, they just took massive dumps, and I think this is going to... We're not too sure what's going to happen this year. Uh, it depends how the game opens up because we don't have any division rival placement games anymore this year. So we don't have that huge injection of coins coming into the game. Um, but I just wanted to quickly show this just so you guys can see how these cards kind of opened up. As far as these cards go with fluctuations, um, they didn't really move too much. Um, you know, you saw Emre Chan. He goes up and down. It really depends on SBCs. Um, and what was dropping that day. Uh, so I don't think the new rewards are really going to affect these low tier cards too much, but rather just the higher tier cards. I think those are going to be the ones that get super affected uh, compared to some of those lower and mid tier cards. But as I said, um, those fight hero cards are going to be an interesting one because of icons. Um, because icons are, you know, they're so rare and low supply, and I think we're going to see something rather similar to those foot hero cards. Maybe a little bit more common than an icon card, but the foot heroes are going to be interesting, and I'm excited to see what the fluctuations look like for this one. Um, R9, this is his base card when a game first came out. Um, as you guys can see, a really high supply. This is because the card was rare, uh, but you zoom it out just a little bit, you'll see on the weekends he kind of tends to rise up, and then you know, um, you know, on Friday we have a dip up here, and then after dip down, uh, come Thursday, Friday, I rise up. So again, we're gonna see this. This isn't gonna happen as much, I think, uh, heading into FIFA 22. I myself made a lot of coins trading icons last year. Uh, and, and personally, I never even hopped on the game on Monday, Tuesday, because icons were always just dipping down. And unless you got a huge deal, it just wasn't worth it. Because if you were to buy on a Monday or something, uh, chances are you're going to end up losing coins if you can't sell them right away on a good deal. Um, because that card just won't rise for the weekend. But I do think now we're not going to see those dips come in as hard for Monday, Tuesday or whatever. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, like I said, uh, but th these are just, I'm just going over some of the reasons why I think the market's going to be completely different this year. Um, some trading styles or, or trading methods that are going to be really effective this year is going to be like chem style trading, position change trading, icons, foot heroes, um, just flipping special cards. I think those are going to be super, super fun to do. Um, and I think they're going to be really, really effective. Like I'm really excited to see um, just how many coins people can make because these cards are going to be fluctuating so much more because they're not locked into that weekly fluctuation that we're used to seeing. Uh, so with that being said, I mean, that pretty much wraps up the video. I wanted to go over why I thought the market was going to be completely different this year and kind of get your guys mindset into the methods that we're going to be using. And it's going to be a lot of those quick flips. Uh, as far as Thursday flips, that stuff is, is done. I think because there's just too many different days. It just won't, I don't think we're going to see a steady trend, uh, at least for the first couple months, uh, where you can definitely buy on this day and by Thursday you'll make a lot of coins. I just don't see that happening uh, personally, so you know, it, it's, it's going to be interesting to see, um, but it, it's going to be fun. And, and I'm telling you guys right now, we have a ton of guides coming out on all those trading methods and stuff like that. Um, actually, I think the next video that's going to be posted is going to be the ultimate trading guide, um, part one, and then part two will come out later uh, on the week. But uh, it should be good. I'm going to go over a lot of the basic methods and then uh, kind of go into the more complex ones uh, with you guys so you guys can kind of learn. Again, I'm sticking to the methods that are going to work throughout FIFA 22. Um, but you know, it, it's good to be back. Uh, so the upload schedule you guys are going to see for at least the first half of September, every other day, except for one weekend, we're going to, it's going to be a little extended. Uh, and then once FIFA 22 web app drops, we're going every day, uh, at least for a few weeks before we just go to, um, you know, probably six days a week. But, uh, yeah, guys, that, that wraps up the video. I'm excited for FIFA 22. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, you know, it, this video has gone on a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching again.